What's up everyone? It's the Lego Detective and welcome back to another Bakugan review. Today we're gonna be reviewing the original Drago. Drago or Dragonoid was the first Bakugan used by Dan, the main character of the Bakugan series. And he continued to evolve and stay throughout the rest of all the seasons of Bakugan. Taking a look at Drago's ball form, I do have the clear version, but the normal version would just be dark red or whatever attribute you have. He's got some goldish copper highlights on him and the pirate symbol. He's pretty basic, other than some clearly indented feet areas and where you would fold up the horn. But other than that, he is a pretty smooth Bakugan on the outside. Rolling Drago onto a card is very easy, just because of his long and very blocky head. The only manual parts found on him are the horn and the feet. And there we have Drago. Taking a closer look at Drago, you can see that he has green eyes and some yellow details in the mouth. He's also got all around him more of that bronze detail that we saw on the inside, making up the claws and some of the scales on the neck. You have some little indents there, which just look kind of cool, and as you can see, mine is 420 Gs. Folding him up is extremely simple. You fold in the manual parts, push in the wings, and the head just locks everything together. A cool way to shoot Drago is that since there's this little indent in the back of his head, you can press down to do a backspin shot, which is very helpful for games, and most of the time he ends up landing on the card and staying there. This is extremely helpful and is very satisfying once you get it onto the card. So there is my review on the original Dragonoid, or Drago. This is a really cool Bakugan, and I definitely recommend it. It's definitely a must-have for anyone that's a fan of the original series. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. This is the LEGO Detective, and I'll see you in the next one.